So I just got this new laptop over here with 4 gigabytes of RAM and I wanted to upgrade it. Then I went up to Amazon and searched up RAM and I found this thing on sale. So I was like, buy now. And I've never done a review of this laptop before. So I'm going to combine everything into this one gigantic video. Here's the top view of the laptop. On the right side, you get a CD drive slot where you can install one and a laptop lock. On the left side, you get a power connector, ethernet jack, HDMI output, two USB 3.0 ports, a headphone jack, and an SD card reader slot. Here's the bottom. Now let's stop upgrading this laptop. Leave a like if this helps you. Right, now what you have to do is take a Phillips head and start removing all the screws in the holes that you can see. There are no more holes than the screws. So, all the screws are in plain sight, do remove them. Then take out the CD tray and put it aside for safekeeping. If you've never done this before, you need to take the Phillips head screw or the screwdriver and then start to pry open the laptop from the edge. Once you've done that, lift up the cover gently and then put it aside in a safe corner. Flip the laptop so that the CPU fan is facing towards you. Carefully take out your RAM from the box. While you are holding the RAM, make sure not to touch the orange connector pins so that you don't damage your RAM. This is the slot you're going to insert the RAM into. The connector pins on the RAM and on the socket are in a sim simple pattern. The connector pins are kind of broken from in between. So there's a longer piece and there's a shorter piece. You gotta match that on the socket and then insert the RAM diagonally and then push it down. And voila, you just upgraded your RAM. As simple as that. Now all you have to do is put the lid on and then screw everything back. Do not forget the CD tray. Watch out for any speaker or display wires poking out. Do not damage them. Do push them back in to their place. To close the lid, align it and then press down until it clicks. Now put your tray in and screw everything down. Now let's check out if it all worked out.
As you can see, for me, it works. Now to test out our RAM, let's get GTA 5 up and running. As you can see, everything is very, very smooth. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video and it helped you, please do drop a like. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys. This has been Warren and I'm out. I'll see you later. Goodbye.